you are getting married to this now nice hourglass shape and stuff and but then you, it's going you to have get to think yeah it's going to get into a pumpkin size round ciao guys and welcome back to lampies yes today we really just wanted to share with you some stuff spill the tea about marriage things that don't tell you about marriage of course it's a wedding there's always the positive vibe and people are happy for you but they are also the other side of marriage which is the ugly the not so positive let me just say the negative and the things that are a little bit scary when it comes to marriage life mm -hmm. we are going to share with you that from our experience and yes and our experience means also your opinions after we've been married we have received a lot of that as well you when you think of marriage the first thing that comes to your mind is oh my goodness even your friends they're like oh you know think about it you are going to be stuck with this person it's one person for the rest of your life that wow. also in other terms means you are only going to be having intimacy with one person yes i mean uh i remember that was when i when i think about it yes that was in my mind before we got married because you know to commit to one person for the rest of your life even sexually is like okay you need to deal with this person for the rest of your life and yes it's also true that you're going to have sex with the, this person from the rest or oh it's supposed to be true let's say it also no. like that <laughs> because also there are many people that cheat it's really having sex with the same person that is what comes to most mind because you can have a boss for the rest of your life you have a sister for the rest of your life you're dealing with them it's not that that is you think of having one person for the rest of your life from a sexual point of view mm -hmm. because you are getting married to this now nice hourglass shape and stuff and but then you, it's going you have to get to think yeah it's going to get into a pumpkin size round you are now married it's five years from now wrinkles comes and you're going to be there yeah i understand your point for me it was not that that uh, much of a deal that is the natural decadement of our body then for me it was really more mental you i have to deal with this person with such character the rest of your life and go through the most important uh steps of your life with this person so any problem any financial problem anything you have to deal with this person and be sure that you can overcome any difficulties that was on the back of my mind yes and then there is also sex but it was not sex first and then there is me when i'm getting married the first thing i have to think of is intimacy with the same person for the rest of my life i'm thinking people get you know they stay together for 40 years that comes to my mind and when i'm talking to my when i tell my friends i'm getting married the first thing in our discussion is are you sure have you already sampled in and that is just sampled like now. are you, you because that's also the thing when you think of uh you don't want to get married when you're too young so it's always the thing you want to make sure that you have at least maybe some dating experience to know that you definitely know this is the right person to settle with yeah and this is also the issue of bachelor party where you have strippers and stuff and you want to make sure that you enjoy looking at some naked because after that you're only going to be seeing one person you want to enjoy uh, in germany it's not a problem in germany it's not a problem you just go to sauna if you want to see yes. the naked people <laughs> it's just like you have yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big, it's, it's it's a thing it's it's a real for me that is number one deciding factor when you are married and also one of also the major major issues this bad side of it so the next thing here is also problem i think once and this start this started the wedding after the pastor is done with the ceremony you know just saying you may kiss your wife afterward the words comes in already societal pressure what the society expects mm -hmm. from you as a married i'm telling you they just say you may kiss your bride 
Five minutes later, people are already talking when are you having children? Yeah, I know. And literally, you have not even had a time to go to bed and sleep, make a child, but people are already talking about, about that. that. Okay, when is the child well, coming? Yeah, when is it? You guys are now ready. Like, literally, you guys are now ready. Even if you want to leave the location now and go home and make a baby, it's fine. It's fine, It's, yeah. it's just that societal pressure. Mm -hmm. When are you having a child? When are you having... They don't even ask you before you're married if you want to have children, but as soon as... You know, when you get married, there is a lot of pressure from society. As apart from the kids, comes, of course, the role of the wife and the role of the man. The role of the man, of course, is the provider. So you should have a job, you should provide for the family, you should pay the bills, you should be the one taking the children out and the, the, the trash out of the house uh, every single day, and so on. The wife, on the other, on the other side? Uh, I think as a wife and... For me, in this society, I think things should change a bit. Back in the day, most wives maybe didn't go to work. But now you kind of, you, when you are dating, both of you are working. And then, when you're married, you, people expect you to immediately, not like you sit at home, but they expect you to fully take over the responsibility of a household. Mm -hmm. have children so right away regardless they just want you to have children right away uh, regardless of how you're going to pay your bill because they obviously assume that your partner is the husband is paying the bills in this society excuse me in this society it's not like that people you know we go to where you work i work and we contribute to bills together mm -hmm. and then they also expect you that you take the full responsibility of just Wife cooks, cleans. Mm -hmm. You have to take care of the child. You have to take care of cleaning the house. You have to take care of buying groceries. My point is, when do I get time to be cleaning the house all the time, like leaking it? I mean, if they even enter the house not clean, they're like, oh. Apart from that, but can you not aspire something more? Are you not allowed to have your own career and have your jobs? It's like, I don't know, it's, and you know, whenever you have a different path that goes a little bit um, sideways or it's not Ooh, perfectly... of the traditional marriage, then you are not... You like, have uh, pressure from the family, both sides, and say, oh, really, so... So you are cleaning. So, I uh, is cleaning the house, oil, and the the house and is cooking. Oh, really? Okay. Lampy. You don't serve your husband breakfast in bed every mm -hmm. morning. I'm, I'm just like, now, do I wake up at 5, going to, first at 5 in the morning, going to shower, to prepare to go to work, and also bring breakfast in bed? You also need to get out of bed and start working. Mm -hmm. It's just, and, and when do I get time to be leaking the house day and night to make sure that it's super clean when I also have to go to my job? Mm -hmm. uh, but... It, it's weird because people always talk about also changes and stuff and more things are changing. But this department is not... It, it, people don't expect things that... They don't actually accept. It is accepted, but it's still... People look at it like, now you're married, assume the duty of your wife. You just hear comments like, how is marriage life? Mm -hmm. So you know they expect to see that after marriage there's a change. And then it's also things like... You are a wife now. You can't be dressed like this. Mm -hmm. You are a wife now. You can't be going to the club. I'm, I'm like, I went to oh, the club can, even a day before my wedding. You can now go, go out with yourself. Oh, did you ask your your husband uh, if you can go out uh, tonight? Do you need to ask me? <laughs> I mean, you just communicate. You know, baby, I'm you going out today. Okay, good. Enjoy your evening. Yes, you know? but I'm just like, why am I here? Baby, may I please go out to... Hey, who that, that are you? Make sense. You're, a, you're a person and you have your own freedom. Maybe so if I have children, I would say, okay, baby, I'm going out tonight. Would you please stay at home and watch over the kids or something like that? But if we just, the two of us, I definitely don't see a problem. We just say, ciao, I'll see you. Yeah, just, just wait when we have kids and you say that you're going out uh, with your friends while I'm taking care of the children to yeah. your mother. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, my mother already, when I say, oh, what are you doing? Where is Alexander? Is cook. Alessandro's the one cook. Especially before when we had the university and stuff, it didn't sound like bad. But mm -hmm. now, if I say that, it's like the husband is cook. The husband is the, cooking. It's, it's weird though. The other expectation also in my culture when you get married is immediately I've seen it. 
for my mom. Just after, again, after, it's one of those things, the ceremony is done, everybody starts saying, Tate, Alessandro. Mm -hmm. it, like, my mother, when now, most of the time, my mother talks to me, and my friends talk to me. They don't want to say, how is Ali? They say, how, how is Tate? Tate? I'm just saying, my father is sitting at home, I'm sure he's... <laughs> It's true, like this is just some expectation and I'm also expected to call you fat I don't know, it sounds just like Father Francesca and you know, or Father Francesca and you know. It sounded very weird. It sounded weird. But those that like expectation high. The other side of it is also you are expected to either you take, I don't know, as far as I had, you take maybe you you contribute 80%, 90%, 90% to the house bills oh, and everything, mm -hmm. and I just bring in a 10. Uh, you need to make a lot of money. A lot of money. I think I, I, I need to take a lot of loans, basically. <laughs> and honestly, I don't understand these things. And then the other side of it is also like, okay, if I still go to work, why do I have to contribute less? It just doesn't make sense. I, I, and what are you going to do with your money then? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe buy <laughs> Botox and I don't know. I will oh, have a lot of yeah, yeah. savings, obviously. Ooh, the next point. This one, this one thing is very, this is probably the worst part of marriage. If it, mm. if it's not well managed, I If would it's say. not well managed and well balanced. You know, you sh you have already problem with families, right? It's difficult. You don't choose them and stuff. Now with marriage, you don't choose your in-law, they just like, mm, I'm married to Alessandro, and then you have now seven new family members that you have to get along with. Uh, yeah, but I think you are lucky, because in my case, basically, you just my father, you have no, my father, my have, mother, and my sister. No, your cousins, we have yeah, Christmas would, together, your yeah, uncle, we have Christmas on. together, we, mm -hmm. when there are weddings, I have, I'm part of that, and everybody else say hello, and mm -hmm. expect already some nice treatment, because they're part of the mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just saying, if we go to a wedding, and then we meet your uncle, and they say hello, and for some reason, like, mm, I don't know these people, they would say something, obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. That, those are expectations. But for, I understand, for you, maybe I have new, 20 new people. No, 20 uh, is not even enough. <laughs> Between cousin, No, no, uncles. no, no, no. no. For, from your side, I ah, would say I side. probably have 20. Less than that. I would say 10, probably. No, a little bit more. I would say maybe 15. From my side, you have probably 60 new people that you... And you need to work on remembering people's names. And I'm terrible at that. I'm really terrible at that. So, so I'm always in panic. The, she comes out, oh, you know, who, who have bought a new car? Or uh, she got a new job? And I was like, uh, who is who? <laughs> it's terrible. I feel so bad because most of the time I don't remember his names. <laughs> Yes, uh, so the, the, the relationship with the in-laws is very important because it's also, you know, whatever, if, if you do anything mm -hmm. bad, it just, it's going to ruin the, our relationship. Yes. So, but it's a very complex one. I think the best recipe for this one, if you really want to survive it, just don't live close to them. And for us, we are lucky in that way. <laughs> Living in Germany from that side has really saved our life. Yeah, probably. otherwise, mm -hmm. Because they have their expectation too. Yes, I mean, living 24 7 with I, strict I contact with the family, I, I would can't not be. even imagine. Back in the days in my culture, you get married, you move in directly in your in laws' house and you spend minimum a year. Yeah, that was the same in Italy. With eh? People you don't know who are just going to make your life hell because they feel like you're also taking money that they used to get from their brother or from their sister. I mean, most of the time it still happens like that, especially at the south. Uh, you Basically, what happens is you get married and then you f you look for the closest house that you can find to buy next to your parents. So you make sure that <laughs> you, may from you, can, you, you can spend every single day, like Sunday, uh, Sunday lunch. They keep your apartment. But even every day, because the, the, the back in the day was like that. When you have kids, then you send, you send the kids, uh, for example, if you are going to war for lunch and the kids are coming back from school they go directly to nona and yeah, nona is preparing yeah. lunch mm -hmm. anyway. i mean there is mm -hmm. a nice side to yeah, it but, but there, there oh, is also know, a lot you know, of tension you know, huh? there's a lot of, because you have to keep up with nona who is always inviting you every sunday to go eat there yes whether you're in the mood or you want to go to the gym with your friend wherever no nona first 
No, I get offended nice. twice. It's mm. nice. I don't know. Okay, I'm you, you think we should move to the village and stay just uh, in my parents' house for a year? No, uh, we can. We can try it. Yeah, I mean, we are not going to survive that. Oh, next point is this is a deal break. Now, before you get married, and I think most of the time. People getting married don't think about this until when you are in a marriage and then you have to find ways to deal with finances as a couple. Yep. There are just so many problems. This is the compromise that it, I think this is the most difficult compromise as well because either you're making so so much money that you don't have to care about how the other person is dealing with that money. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you also want you know if like I'm very. Poor girl, like I don't like. I, I care about how I spend my money. Every little cent I need to. I'm very, very accountable. Let yes. me just say this. For example, I think one of those when it comes to finances, mm -hmm. when it comes to wedding organizations, mm -hmm. I'm talking now from my culture because we have really big ceremonies and we have two different or three different ceremonies. All this time, people are already getting married, but they're not thinking about how they're financing the wedding. So sometimes each person take a loan on a wedding. Yeah. That is like I'm starting a marriage problem already, already. Before. because then it's like the first day you move in your house, I honestly can't pay bill this month because the wedding loan is still deducting for the next probably five years or five two years. years. Mm -hmm. It's just those problems and you move in with them. And I'm saying if you have one person who's always into designer things, then the other person is like, I just buy everything normal. Mm -hmm. I, so either you have one person spending so much of their salary on things that you think are not important, mm -hmm. and they think they're important, are they willing to come down to what you think? Or some people are usually just, I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. And, and then? the other person is maybe, I enjoy life first before I, I save is the last. So it's it's a very, very complex thing to deal with. Yeah, and to be honest. Somehow, I think it's not right or wrong. Easy for us because I think we kind of, both of us are quite frugal, we're not into designer things, so we find a way that works well. I think there's no right way or wrong way, important thing, you just have to find what works. Yeah, definitely. If you feel like you want to spend it all, and spend, but I, I have also all. to be spending, I can't be the only one saving and the other person is spending. When you're married, as soon as you sign the paper, the wedding is done, the next thing comes to your mind is always... What if I divorce? It's fear of fear of infidelity, fear of it just fear. Just fear, yes. Also, I don't know, I remember Are you going to make it? Are we going to, to make, make it, it as a couple? Twenty years together, are we going for ten, are we going My just goodness. for two when we are out? To be honest. Just fear. Yeah. You have fear that you cannot make it through the, the normal steps like that normal family should get it, like uh, having kids or getting a house. Uh, just spend time together and then you realize that you have been married already since 10 years and everything and the, and the, the kids are going for university. I think it's it goes so, so fast. fast. Yes, yes but I so think, fast. you know, this, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit tricky because like you said, you have fear of, oh my goodness, are we going to have children? Are we going to have a house and stuff? Then the other side of it is like, have I spent time with my family? Because when you think of, are we going to have children? Am I mm -hmm. going to provide for my children? Are you going to afford a house? That's when you're thinking about work, 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 work. But if exactly. you're only doing work, work, there's no marriage. Because there is there's no just marriage, a definitely. So mm -hmm. you have also to balance. But it's uh, challenging. Then, infidelity, that is number one problem when it comes to marriage. Yeah. You're definitely scared. Of course, we talk about expectation of you as a wife and stuff. Maybe that's why people as, also as say... Me. No. As a wife, <laughs> as, as me as a wife, as a wife or a husband, or as a partner in marriage, mm -hmm. but are we also and in crime. No, not in crime. <laughs> <laughs> I never know. No, I mean, if you're married to another thief, then you're a thief okay, in crime. But I'm just saying, uh, this is probably why people say, now you're a wife, you shouldn't, or you're a husband, you shouldn't go to the club because you also, you know, some area might be that's where the infidelity risk is. Ah, yes, but that is it has more to do with jealousy. That is another major problem, I think. Yeah, but uh, yeah like when when you are married now, like you feel like you own the person. No, 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 no. no yeah, no. there are, it's true mm. because 
Okay, if, so you if owe I, me, no, no. I'm definitely paying 100% of the bills. Apart from <laughs> that, but it is true, to be honest, mm, because okay. if you if you come up with the things, ah, oh, yeah, I need to ask permission. Should, yeah, uh, that is true. That, that means the other person own you. Like, what the hell? You you decide to stay together, to come together, to have a, a, a relationship, to build a family, but you don't own me because we are married. That is, like, one of the major points that, that has to be. But it's not always there. Most of the time, the normality is the really... Husband. They the husband make the rules. Make the the husband, rules uh, the wife for, follow. Yes, exactly. Ooh, the wife the worst thing, which yeah. is not a tradition, if if the wife is the one who makes all the rules and the husband follows, mm. ooh, the whole village is going to be speaking about it. But I just don't understand why. They should, if some wife wants to be making the rule and you follow, it should be okay to. It's mm -hmm. also a person. I believe in marriage partnership. It's just like yes. you two come together and work together. 50 50. Oh, 50 50. Like, just, I think. Just, it's a partnership really, it shouldn't be the other person controls the other. I, I, don't, I, I don't think the husband should be controlling the wife, and I don't think the wife should be controlling. owning the husband. And con just honestly agree on what works for you together. Mm -mm. Question of the day. Question of the day. What is, in your opinion, what is the worst thing about getting married? Or, or being, being married. married. Yes. Let us know that in the comment, please. And if you like this video, please don't forget to leave us a like. In this way, you support our channel. And if you are not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. Yes, with that, see you in our next video. Now we upload videos. At least there should be new content every week. See you in our next video. Bye. No way. See you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Yeah. <laughs>